typo squatting is rampant. And any email from a domain that was registered in, say, the last 30 days should be marked as highly suspicious and treated as such. He says, in fact, I'll bet the vast majority of spam email comes from recently registered domains. A system that blocks email to or from recently registered domains could have saved us and our business partners tens of thousands of dollars in fraudulent ACH transfers just in the past year. So I just wanted to say that's a super smart suggestion, Sean. I agree a hundred percent. You know, these are the sorts of things like filters that, that we just keep missing. They're obvious ways of, or maybe not so obvious ways, but powerful ways of, of looking at what's going on and recognizing that there's a problem that might otherwise be missed and is easy to filter. Given that email uses a store and forward architecture, it's the sort of thing that either the intermediary email server could do, or it could be done by an email client, maybe with a plugin of some sort. Anyway, I just wanted to put it out there, share it with our listeners, because I think it's a truly terrific idea. 